Callaway tour fitting here on Sunday at the DP World. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. That way, you won't miss any of the great golf later content that I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, we are here on the range at the DP World Tour Championship on Sunday, and I am having a Callaway Tour Fit. With this man. Jace, how are we doing? How's it going? Good to see you, mate. Good to you, mate. So, last time we did this, we were in Abu Dhabi. Yes, we were, indeed. We fitted the driver, mm -hmm. which it was a good fit in, wasn't it? It, was it went good, okay. Yeah. So, you did it with Alex last time? We so did it with Alex. We did yeah. it with the uh, the big man there. Basically, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do irons for you today. So, mm -hmm. we got Callaway's new Apex CF19s, and we got the Apex Pros, and we're going to give you the MBs as well. So, we're going to go through all three your heads, see how they perform to you today, and see if we can get you that full experience today. Cheers, mate. Thank you. All right. So, guys, as always, I want you to be a part of my videos. And by that, I mean, I want you to hit those comments below. In today's video, I want you to comment below which irons would you be choosing, the MB, the Apex, or the Apex Pro? How good do those MBs look, by the way? So, guys, as you can see there, I've just had a good warm-up. Obviously, that is imperative to any good fit-in. Jace, where do we want to start? Now, normally where we start off is just a couple of questions I normally ask the person that's doing the fitting with. Um, so I normally ask you what clubs do you have, uh, what shafts do you have. Yeah. Uh, so today with James we're going to basically work on heads first. Yep. Heads is probably the most important thing for me as performance leads to accuracy and dispersion tightness and all of that. From there I'm going to try and work on shafts to see if we can get James ideal launch for him on his preference of course because james plays in the uk he plays lynx courses he plays parklands we're going to try and see what actual shaft he works best with as well um, from there we can probably just let him, him, let him hit a couple on this beautiful range next to these couple of players we have here down here we got matt mm. the right next to him. yeah it's a great experience for james see if he can handle the pressure <laughs> We'll see if that happens yeah. or not. He's getting a little bit shaky already. <laughs> so guys, you see, and I get this question a lot when people do ask about fittings. They say, well, does it matter where I play? Does it matter what golf courses I play at? And Jason's hit the nail on the head there. It absolutely matters which courses you play at. If you play the same golf course every day, you never go and play somewhere else. You never come and play Jamira. You never go and play Abu Dhabi. Jason plays all the time, don't you, mate? Indeed, so. every day of my life. But if you do play the same course over and over, you might just fit a bag to that golf course. You might fit a hybrid to a certain hole, to a certain par three. But you also need to be able to. You also need to be able to be diverse, Jason. Don't you? 100. So I mean, ball flat is we James is going to be looking at today for him on the fitting itself. I know he plays quite a high ball flight, so I would try and knock that down for him maybe a bit, t a touch today. Um, I know he's got a Mizuno set in the bag as well, so James, we're going to see if that compares to your set okay. currently as well. So this is going to be really interesting as well. As Jason mentioned there, we all know that I have a Mizuno set of MP20s with X100 shafts in there. Uh, we, we graduated up, didn't we? We, we go yeah, up to the extra. He's got really strong, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so Jace, where do you want me to start? All right, so I've got James's first shaft. I'm going to put him in an S300 shaft at this point, see how he performs with that. Okay. And then... Uh, which, which head are we going to start with? I'm going to start with the Apex Pro. Okay, so okay. kind of middle of the pack. Just middle of the pack. Yeah. I mean, you've got the MP20s yeah, uh, in so the back, so yeah. I want to give you something very similar to that mm -hmm. as to start with. Yeah. Something a bit easier, and then we can go into the MB blades, see how you play with that. Okay, okay. perfect. Interestingly, so in my set, guys, you will know that I do have a, a blade up to the, I should know this really, I do have a iron, yeah, blade up to the 6 iron okay. and then 5 and 4 iron in a more forgiving head. The HMBs, yeah. Yeah, so okay. I know a lot of people are doing split sets now, so <laughs> yeah. be interesting. Right, I'll take some of these. Off you go. I do like the look of this looking down at it. You know, the, yeah, the blade length when I first saw them I thought was quite short. Yeah. But, uh, huh? Just a full bag of them then, Jason. I think, to be fair. Okay, strong ball, but everything went out ready here. Yeah. It's got some 
going to did mention in the beginning of the video that uh, I don't know if that was on video or not that your bat shot is a thin hook. Yeah, so people left shot absolutely, yeah. Well, the hook's a bit over the top. Oh, but the so the hook's a little bit. But people will know who watch my channel. My miss is generally left yeah. with all the clubs, um, and that was one of the reasons for maybe stiffening the shafts up. But you're a fitter, so so we can have a look at your misses ideally. So for me, your bat shot is trying to take that out of the equation completely yeah. for you, especially if you struggle with that on the golf yeah. course as well. So through the shots I'm going to give to you, it's going to be different stiffness of the tips as mm -hmm. well. So we're going to see if that miss is going to be there or not. Okay. And basically just see if that actually performs better for you in your yeah. swing as well. Uh, everyone's got different swings, so everyone needs to have sometimes different stiff stiffness yeah, and yeah. all that because yeah. everyone has different releases in their, yeah. on their downswing to the golf course. So Perfect. give me a couple more. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, that was the fin shot, yeah? But you see, that's where this head's going to help me as opposed to maybe yeah. another head, isn't it? Exactly, so it's just that additional forgiveness on the bottom of the soles yeah. just to like, just get the ball going still. So. Yeah, yeah, you see guys, I'm a huge believer that when you do come for a club fit, you don't want to come and rip them all. It would be lovely, it would be lovely to be on the range next to tall players and rip them all, but in fairness, if you're coming for a club fit, you want to see the good, you want to see the bad, and see you want to see the ugly, so... Yeah, the typical one, Jay. She's like a nice strike, but nice strike going left, yeah. Okay, we'll have a look at lie angle for you now because I do think lie angle will have a bit of an effect to that okay. pull as well. Yeah, if that's general. So we'll have maybe put you in a flatter head. Yeah, to see if we can counter that pull to the left for you. All right, James, so we got you in a two degree flat head at this yep. point because you're pulling it to the left. We're going to try and see if we can change the lie angle to act as a straighter shot shape for you. Now, ideally for me as a fitter, I wouldn't actually just put you straight into a two degree flat head. Yep. I would put you on a lie board to see if the lie angle on the head is perfectly perfect for you on down the center. Yep. Um, but we've had pros in the past where I've done fittings for them and pros are very particular about how their shot shape is. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the pros will hit it left, still with a square face at impact. Mm -hmm. Bending it flat for them will make it a bit more leaky right for them, mm -hmm. which is an ideal shot shape for them uh, on the course they're playing at yep. and all that. So James, there you okay. go. So guys, generally what happens there is because the lie angle is now getting flatter, the loft is pointing more to the right as opposed to the left impact, which is causing my horrific pull. Is that right? Yes, indeed. It was good, wasn't it? Brilliant, wasn't it? It felt like a bad swing as well. Yeah, it, 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 it sounded as well like you didn't catch it really on the sense of the face. It sounded very low on the face as well still. Yeah. So, it's keeping its line at least. Uh... Oh, lovely. It's on, it's on line. <laughs> really important for me to see as well. If you hit it thin, I don't want to see it going right. Yeah, yeah. Full on right. I still want to see it going down the target line. So okay. If you play a links course and you hit it thin and you want it to keep it low like that, <laughs> work out, yeah, it? that was a stinger, that one, yeah. yeah. I prefer that as a miss. As to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. James, I know in the past, I know your swing, I've seen your YouTube videos as well, so uh, I'm actually a subscriber as well yeah. on your channel. Guys, so if you're not a subscriber, you need to. Please go on there yeah, and yeah. follow this lad because he is a really good guy to watch and his contacts really Sounds great. so genuine as well, carry on. It's gotta be. <laughs> Um, but I know your swing and everything, you play a jaw shot shape, yeah. Yeah? yeah? So that is your general shot shape as well. But I don't want to take that out of context as okay. well because yeah. you're going to play that. That is your yeah. natural shape. It's going to be there. So you're going to always try and play that. Yeah. So we don't want to see it go out mm -hmm. way off to the right. So then you're going to be fighting it with your swing as well. Yeah. So then you're going to try and work with your path to come in more inside mm -hmm. to work it more as yeah. well. So try and just swing it yeah, as yeah. natural as And that is a great point as well, guys. So if you are coming for a club fit, don't come for a club fit and on that day decide actually, I'm going to try and play a fade today when 99% of the time you are going to try and play a draw. You need to come and you need to try and do exactly what you would do 100%, normally in the golf 100%, course. 100%. So you would, I would want you to play as natural as you can. Don't try and force something out of yeah. the bag or anything. When you hit a drive as well, just come as... Don't try and be a long drive guy. Just come in as <laughs> normal as you can. Yeah, with my 275 <laughs> long drive. Sharp young, so, like, how's it work for you in the it feels swing? okay, it feels solid. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've got you in a stiff currently. Your swing speed, if you can have a look here on track, man, yeah, it's currently at 80 miles per hour. Okay, okay. So, for me as a fitter, I always look at swing speed sometimes with regards to the stiffness of it as well. Mm -hmm. 
I know Mizuno, they use a swing DNA yep. uh, to determine what shaft flex it mm -hmm. needs to be because they don't have a specific guide to say this is your X is for your swing or anything like yep. that. The swing DNA does it all for you. Yeah. Okay. For me personally at this point, I would say X is maybe on a touch high side. Okay. Um, but again, I'm not going to I'm going to go now, guys, so we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> but... I mean, 80 miles per hour for me, I would say I'm mm. just going to keep you keep you in stiff shafts okay. at, this, at this moment. I mean, your ball flight's nice and strong as well, mm -hmm. so it's not looking as ballooning up yeah. or anything like that. It's nice and strong, uh, especially if you play links course. Mm -hmm. um, if you can see... And this is a really good point for me, guys, as well. So when you do go for a fitting, obviously this is a Callaway fitting. But if you went for a different brand fitting, you will find that different shafts will suit different heads. So you can't just go for a fitting with Ping, Titleist, TaylorMade, Callaway, when we all have Callaway. You can't just go for a fitting and expect that shaft to be your shaft it has to work with the head it has to work with the club that you are trying james we're expecting that one to go left on you though yeah yeah okay so this one kept its direction yeah but yeah it did to be fair yeah obviously it wasn't a great strike or, exactly yeah, yeah. so with, with regards to my fittings what i normally do is i always revert back to what you have in the bag Okay. essentially what is a fitting it's this improvement of what you got yeah okay so for me you said your bad shot is left with your current set yep. especially when you hit them thin we've just had a shot here now it's just gone there straight so yep. so the next thing we're going to try and have a look at is we've got the mds here in exactly the same shaft here as well yep. and see how the mds work for you because mm -hmm. this is not an exact version of that yeah and see how this works out for okay. you yep. okay just a minute i do like that head though i think yep. i love blades i've always loved blades people on the channel will know that i like hitting blades but I think looking down at the Apex Pro, you still get that refined look. Exactly, yeah. So, so with the top line and everything, it looks still yeah, like yeah. a blade, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas this looks, the 26 looks even smaller than what I'm using now. Yeah. So, I mean, if we talk about tour players on tour as well, there's not a lot of them using the blades. There's no. only a handful of them using the blades as well. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, I mean, tour players, yeah, they're good in a sense, well, but they practice every day. Yeah. And most of them are actually sometimes going to Apex Pro. Just because, yeah. I mean, you don't have to make this game even harder for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just an ego trip for some people, isn't thing, it? Isn't it? Yeah. Those people who go and get blades up to six iron. Here you go. Pretty good shot there. It sounded really good, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm quite enjoying that ball flight, to be fair. But I don't it even know. Like which it's just uh, come, launching a little bit lower, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, again, if that's the miss, I'm quite yeah, happy with that. Happy with I don't that mind game. it, yeah. So, Jake, regard to shaft flex, you yep. have shattered all my dreams there I by going sure, stiff instead of extra stiff. Yeah. We have just had a chat off camera about the weight of the shafts. So obviously, I'm using X100 AMT shafts, yeah. which are maybe a little bit lighter little bit in some lighter, of them. Yeah. So, uh, just talk us through kind of what we're looking at with the shaft flex. If, if the shaft we looked at, James, to, to be honest, was S300's True Tempest. I didn't want to go, give him too light as well because he does have a bit of release. For him to control the ball flight and everything, I wanted to give him a heavy shaft so he can still knock that down and everything like that. And that's why I went to a 130 gram shaft. It's just a, as a preference for his golf, I went to heavy shaft. Yeah, that's the one. That is it. Again, James, in regards to your ball striking, it's phenomenal actually what I've just seen now. So it's, <laughs> it's amazed how much you actually can strike the golf ball. Now, again, you've got to mix it. Yeah. You've got the option as well of Callaway to have a mix set as well. Mm -hmm. So if you feel comfortable having blades from P987, yep. I would actually suggest it as well because of your ball striking pattern mm -hmm. as well. So you strike it out of the center every single time. You are not that goal for that. It's a toey or healy the whole time. We need okay. this forgiveness or cavity yeah. on a club. So, to be honest, I would actually recommend also maybe some mix set for you as well. And the, so the benefits of this, I know we said earlier about ego and we had yeah. a joke about it, but you do start to see it hit a different window, don't you? Exactly, So, yeah. so for me, especially with the, the pitching wedge 9 iron and 7 iron, I can find they just balloon exactly, very, yeah. very easily. Yeah. Whereas with a, a more bladed iron, it's imperative, yeah, guys, you go and get fit for this. You don't yeah, just say, yeah, yeah. James yeah, Robinson yeah. says, oh, well, the blade goes yeah. lower, so I'm going to get lower. Go and see an expert, go and see someone who knows what they're talking about, and then they can obviously help you down no, the path. No, 100%. So for my fittings itself, I'd go on a person. I work mm -hmm. with the person, how he is and all that. And what he's got in the set, I don't always revert back to that so many times, but in your case, you've done a proper fitting with Mizuna guys. So I know how it is as yeah. well. So for me, it's imperative to see what your performance is on the club as well. Okay. The way I can see it, 
go half set with the MB plates yeah. and then go four, five and six iron with mm -hmm. the Apex Pro to get that ball launching okay. up here a bit easier. And you can see a little bit of a trend here with the fittings that I go to. Obviously head designs are different, shafts go with different heads so we have got a different shaft in this fitting but my general thought process is I like to hit a blade, mm. I like to look at a blade, especially yeah. in the lower irons, yeah. but I know in my heart of hearts, unfortunately, yeah. that long iron ball striking isn't my forte, exactly, yeah. so I need that little bit of help, I need to help it launch, and that's where we'd go. And that's where a lot of people struggle with, is a four, five, and six iron yeah. in general. So I, I was mean, thinking four and five iron, Jace, yeah. but... <laughs> I'm not going to say that for you then, <laughs> so we're going to play around with that. So okay. but for you, I guess, in a way, I mean, we want to make this game as easy as well with mm -hmm. the longer irons. Yeah. And I've seen so many guys coming down to me for fittings and all that, and they just can't hit four or five <laughs> and six iron, or yeah. they get them hit exactly the same distance yeah. every single one of them. So many people. Guys, hit those comments below. Does your four iron go further than your five iron? Does your five iron go further than your six iron? That might sound ridiculous, but I guarantee people will comment below and say it doesn't. 100%. Okay. okay. So just in regards to the lying angle again, James, um, I put you in a two degree flat iron angle because of you going left so yeah. I didn't want to see it go further left I would want to have see it go straight down the line still okay. off the target where you're aiming at I would suggest as a fitter to when you get the golf clubs uh, if you buy the golf clubs from any retailer to make sure of the line angle when you buy them to make sure they are 100% right for you not just the line angle itself but the ball flight yeah I think if, if you do go and buy it from maybe a local PJ professional that's where they might mm. well that's where I know that I would if someone got some from, from Huddersfield Golf Club, we'd get them in a lie angle machine yeah. just to check them before yeah. before we even sent them out. Because yeah. obviously different brands have different tolerances. Yeah. Some brands mention no names are worse than others for yeah. that. So guys, just make sure that you come out here, you have the fitting, you make sure that things are right to the nth degree. Yeah. So make sure it's right when you get them. Chase, thank you so much for your time, yeah. mate. Really, Absolute really pleasure. appreciate it. So guys, Callaway Apex MB would be for me up to... I'm going to go 6 iron because I just love a blade at 6 iron to be fair. Okay. Then Apex Pro 5 and 4 iron. Yeah and then probably a hybrid. It's a preference, isn't it? <laughs> I'm yeah. using the Apex Hybrid actually as well. That's brilliant. Yeah, so great. 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 Glad you've got some Callaway clubs in the bag. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Also, Jace, did you know that you have to ring a notification bell so you get notified when I upload new content? Not. Ring so, that bell. So make sure you go and ring the bell. Leave us a like if you enjoyed that content, guys. And as always, I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow.